chocolate covered apples are a seasonal favorite. And with Halloween just around the corner, it only seems fitting that I share with you some of my favorite ways to enjoy them. If you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss any more of my baking content. Now let's get into this recipe. The type of apple that you choose is very individual. But I always find that using a Granny Smith apple gives your chocolate covered apples a little bit more bite, a little bit more sourness that contrasts really nicely against our 300 grams of milk chocolate. I have a wooden skewer for each apple that will make them easier to hold and a variety of different toppings. So I'm going to transfer my chocolate, first of all, into a bowl. And we're going to melt this over a bain-marie. And a bain-marie is a fancy word for melting the chocolate over a pan of simmering water. While your chocolate is melting, go ahead and remove the stalks from your apples. Add your skewer into the top of the apple. And now we are ready to coat with our chocolate. Depending on the type of chocolate that you've used, you may find that it's a little bit too thick for rolling your apples in. So you can loosen up the mixture really easily by adding a tablespoon of oil at a time. And the trick here is not to roll the apple in the chocolate too many times, creating too many layers. You want a nice, thin, even coating. Sometimes, as you can see here, it's easier said than done. But that is what we aim for. Just hold it over the bowl for a couple of seconds to allow some of that excess to fall off. After maybe 30 seconds to a minute, you can add your toppings. Again, the trick here is not to roll the apple in the toppings, but gently place it into the toppings. That means you're not dragging the chocolate off the apple. Repeat the exact same steps with all of your apples. Look how good they look. I just think that they're so cute and also so tasty. And they are a super fun bake for the kids to get involved with. I really hope you enjoyed this really quick and simple tutorial. And if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I can't wait to see you back on my channel really soon. Bye.